pork prohibited in the Bible? Why pork is forbidden in Islam? Eating of pork can cause no less than 70 different types of diseases. Why is the eating of pork forbidden in Islam? The fact that consumption of pork is prohibited in Islam is well known. The following points explain various aspects of this prohibition. 1. Pork prohibited in Quran. The Quran prohibits the consumption of pork in no less than four different places. It is prohibited in 2 colon 173, 5 colon 3, 6 colon 145, and 16 colon 115. Allah has only forbidden you from consuming that which died without being sacrificed according to the sacred law and having its blood flow. The meat of pigs and what is had other than Allah's name mentioned over it when it was sacrificed. Yet if someone is forced to eat something of these forbidden types, and does not sin by eating it when they are not in need, nor do they go beyond the limit of what is necessary, then they have done no wrong and will receive no punishment. Allah is forgiving and compassionate to whomever repents to Him, and it is from His mercy that He overlooks the eating of forbidden things when it is necessary. Al-Baqarah 173 Allah has forbidden you from eating those animals that die without being ritually slaughtered. He has also forbidden you from spilled blood. Pig's meat, an animal on which other than the name of Allah was taken at the time of slaughter, an animal that was strangled or beaten to death, or one that fell from a high place. Or an animal that was gored by another animal and an animal that was hunted by a predator, such as a lion, tiger or wolf. Unless you reach any of these animals while they are alive and you slaughter them in which case they will be lawful for you. He has forbidden you from those animals that were sacrificed for idols. He has also prohibited you from drawing lots to know whether something is destined for you or not, or to use as a means of making a decision when intending to do something or not. By doing these prohibited things a person is leaving obedience to Allah. Almighty 3. Say, O Messenger, I do not find in what Allah has revealed to me anything forbidden except that which dies without being properly slaughtered, blood that is flowing. The meat of a pig for that is impure and unlawful or that which is slaughtered in the name of other than Allah, such as animals slaughtered in the name of idols. Whoever is forced by necessity to eat of these forbidden things due to extreme hunger, without looking for enjoyment by eating them and without exceeding the limit of necessity. There will be no sin on him in that. Your Lord, O Messenger, is forgiving towards the person who is compelled to eat from that and is compassionate towards such a person. al 145 Allah has made unlawful for you to consume that which died without being slaughtered according to the sacred law, blood that spills forth from an animal at the time of slaughter, all parts of the pig, and what was slaughtered by a person as an offering to other than Allah. This prohibition applies at the time when a person has a choice to, if someone is compelled to eat any of these forbidden types and does so without desiring the forbidden thing itself and without going beyond the limit of what is necessary, then they have done no wrong. Allah is forgiving and will forgive them for what they consume. He is merciful in that He permitted that when it is necessary. al Nal 115 Forbidden to you, for food, are, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and that on which hath been invoked the name of other than Allah. al Maida 5,3 the above verses of the Quran are sufficient to satisfy a Muslim as to why pork is forbidden. 2. Pork prohibited in the Bible. The Christian is likely to be convinced by his religious scriptures. The Bible prohibits the consumption of pork, in the book of Leviticus. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he choose not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch, they are unclean to you. Leviticus 11 verses 7-8 Pork is also prohibited in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy. In the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Deuteronomy 14 verse 8. A similar prohibition is repeated in the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2 to 5. 3. Consumption of pork causes several diseases. The other non-Muslims and atheists will agree only if convinced through reason, logic and science. Eating of pork can cause no less than 70 different types of diseases. A person can have various helmets like roundworm, pinworm, hookworm, etc. One of the most dangerous is tinea solium, which is in layman's terminology called tapeworm. It harbors in the intestine and is very long. Its ova, i.e. eggs, enter the bloodstream and can reach almost all the organs of the body. If it enters the brain, it can cause memory loss. If it enters the heart, it can cause heart attack. If it enters the eye, it can cause blindness. If it enters the liver, it can cause liver damage. 
it can damage almost all the organs of the body. Another dangerous helminths is Trichura ticuraceus. A common misconception about pork is that if it is cooked well, these ova die. In a research project undertaken in America, it was found that out of 24 people suffering from Trichura ticuraceus, 22 had cooked the pork very well. This indicates that the ova present in the pork do not die under normal cooking temperature. 4. Pork has fat building material. Pork has very little muscle building material and contains excess of fat. This fat gets deposited in the vessels and can cause hypertension and heart attack. It is not surprising that over 50% of Americans suffer from hypertension. 5. Pig is one of the filthiest animals on earth. The pig is one of the filthiest animals on earth. It lives and thrives on muck, feces, and dirt. It is the best scavenger that I know that God has produced. In the villages they don't have modern toilets and the villagers excrete in the open air. Very often, excreta is cleared by pigs. Some may argue that in advanced countries like Australia, pigs are bred in very clean and hygienic conditions. Even in these hygienic conditions the pigs are kept together in styes. No matter how hard you try to keep them clean they are filthy by nature. They eat and enjoy their own as well as their neighbors' excreta. 6. Pig is the most shameless animal. The pig is the most shameless animal on the face of the earth. It is the only animal that invites its friends to have sex with its mate. In America, most people consume pork. Many times after dance parties, they have swapping of wives, i.e. many say you sleep with my wife and I will sleep with your wife. If you eat pigs then you behave like pigs. We Indians look upon America to be very advanced and sophisticated. Whatever they do, we follow after a few years. According to an article in Island Magazine, this practice of swapping wives has become common in the affluent circles of Bombay. Joel Osteen, an American preacher, televangelist, author, and a senior pastor of Lakewood Church, talks about the true nature of pig pork here. Taken with kind permission from Why Pork is Forbidden in Islam, Part 1 of 2 Islam is a holistic way of life, taking into account physical, spiritual, and emotional well-being, each a separate but overlapping part of the structure of a human being. God created us with a purpose, to worship Him, Quran 51 56. And I did not create jinns and men except for my worship alone. I did not create them to make a partner for me. I do not want any provision off them nor do I want them to feed me. Allah is the provider for His servants, all of them are in need of His provision, He is the Supreme Lord, every mighty, nothing is outside His ability. All of the jinns and men submit to His power, may He be glorified. Adds Zariayat, 56-58 but He did not abandon us to a world of instability and insecurity. He gave us a book of guidance, the Quran, and the example of prophets and messengers to explain that trusting in God was the way for us to achieve success in this life and in the hereafter. The word Islam comes from the Arabic root salama, denoting the peace, security, and serenity that is inherent in submission, or total surrender, to the will of Almighty God. A Muslim spends his or her life endeavoring to please God by worshipping Him and obeying His laws, or rules. One of those rules is that the eating pork or pork products is forbidden. At first one might wonder what harm could come from pork, a product eaten in many parts of the world. And the fact that pork contains parasites and diseases harmful to man may spring to mind as a justifiable reason for abstaining. However, when analyzing why Muslims are forbidden to eat pork, this becomes a secondary reason. Muslims simply do not eat pork or pork products because God has prohibited it. He has forbidden you only dead animals, and blood, and the flesh of swine, and that which is slaughtered as a sacrifice for other than God. Quran 2 173 Allah has only forbidden you from consuming that which died without being sacrificed according to the sacred law and having its blood flow. The meat of pigs and what is had other than Allah's name mentioned over it when it was sacrificed. Al-Baqarah 173 Sometimes we may never know or understand why God has ordained some things and prohibited others. In the case of pork, no specific reason for the prohibition is given except in Quran 6, 145 when God says, in reference to the flesh of swine, pig, for that surely is impure. Say, O Messenger, I do not find in what Allah has revealed to me anything forbidden except that which dies without being properly slaughtered, blood that is flowing. The meat of a pig for that is impure and unlawful or that which is slaughtered in the name of other than Allah, such as animals slaughtered in the name of idols. Quran 6, 145 A Muslim submits to God's commands willingly, without needing to know the reason behind the divine rule. 
Moreover, God has expressly stated that a believer hears the words of his Lord and obeys them. We hear and we obey. And such are the successful, who will live forever in paradise. Quran 2400 hours 51 When the believers are called towards Allah and his messenger for him to judge between them, their only reaction is that they say, We have heard his statement and obeyed his order. Those who possess this characteristic are the ones who are successful in the world and the hereafter. And whoever obeys Allah and obeys his messenger, fears the outcome of sins, and prevents the punishment of Allah upon themselves by fulfilling his commands and refraining from his prohibitions. Only they are the ones who achieve the success of both the world and the hereafter. In Nur 51-52 When God and his messenger have decreed a matter, they, the believers, should not have any option in their decision. And whoever disobeys God and his messenger, he has indeed strayed into a plain error. Quran 33-36 It is not correct for a believing man or woman when Allah and his messenger decide a matter for them that they have a choice in accepting or rejecting it. Whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger has clearly deviated from the straight path. al azab 36 A believer understands that God is the most wise and the most just, therefore, his rules are designed to benefit us in our daily needs, be they physical, emotional, or spiritual. The Creator knows the best way for his creation to live in this world and prepare for the next. It is not permissible for a Muslim to consume pork under any circumstances except in cases of dire necessity, such as, if a person's life depends on eating it. In cases of necessity, prohibited things are permitted. God allows us to enjoy all the good lawful things and forbids us to partake of those things that may be harmful to our beliefs, health, well-being, or morals, at Tabarani, classified as authentic by Sheikh al albanay Consequently, Muslims are acutely aware of the dangers of eating things that are forbidden and therefore make concerted efforts to seek out permissible food, even if it involves extra effort or expense. If a believer consumes pork unknowingly or by mistake, there is no sin of him or her. God does not punish anyone for lack of knowledge, nor for unintentional mistakes or forgetfulness. However if a believer is certain, or thinks that any pork or pork products may be in his food, drinks or medicines then it is not permissible for him or her to consume it. If he has doubts then he must make an effort to inquire about the ingredients or ask for details, scholars of the Standing Committee for Issuing Fatwas, Islamic Rulings, Saudi Arabia. Nowadays knowledge about ingredients and the manufacturing process is readily available and the prohibition applies whether there is a small amount of pork or pork products, or a large amount. The scholars of Islam differ over the issue of whether or not changing the form of the impurity, in this case pork products, lifts the prohibition. The Islamic Organization for Medical Sciences is of the opinion that changing the form, for example, food, and medicine additives, so that it becomes something different, does lift the prohibition. However, there is no doubt and no difference of opinion that it is forbidden to consume meat derived from the pig, including ham and bacon. The recent outbreak of swine flu in Mexico and North America led some countries to slaughter pigs en masse however there is no evidence to suggest that eating pork in any way causes swine flu or spreads the disease. Having said that however there is ample scientific evidence to suggest that pigs harbor parasites that are harmful to humans and the pig has long been considered the ideal breeding ground for Influenza Why Pork is Forbidden in Islam, Part 2 of 2 In Part 1 we discuss the primary reason for Muslims abstaining from eating pork and pork products, and that is, that God has forbidden it. As the creator of humankind and all that exists, God knows what is good for us, and He has sent guidance enabling us to make wise decisions. Just as a computer would not work properly if it were incorrectly programmed, a human being is not able to function if it is not nourished correctly. Islam is a holistic religion that recognizes the interconnectedness of spiritual, emotional, and physical health. What a person eats and drinks has a direct bearing on their overall health and well-being. Virologists have long been aware that the pig is an ideal breeding ground for influenza, so it is no surprise that the latest threat, swine flu, originated in pigs. Microbiologist and immunology expert, Dr. Graham Burgess, James Cook University, Queensland, Australia, says, viruses that would normally grow in the chicken can potentially grow in the pig and ones that grow in humans will potentially grow in pigs. So we consider the pig a great mixing pot for viruses and this is where it can play a real role in generating new viruses. However, according to the Center for Disease Control, CDC, in Atlanta, USA, you cannot get swine influenza from eating pork or pork products. Eating properly handled and cooked pork is safe, they say, 
because cooking pork to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit kills the swine flu virus as it kills other bacteria and viruses. The pig is known to harbor parasites as well as bacteria and viruses. Cystocercosis is an infection caused by the pork tapeworm, Tinea solium. Infection occurs when the tapeworm larvae enter the body and form cystocerci, cysts. When cystocerci are found in the brain, the condition is called neurocystocercosis. This tapeworm in pigs is found worldwide but is most problematic in poor and developing countries where pigs are allowed to roam freely and often eat human feces. This infection can occur even in modern developed countries but the CDC reports that it is very rare in Muslim countries where eating pork is. Trichinolosis, also called trichinosis, is caused by eating raw or undercooked meat of animals infected with the larvae of a species of worm called trichinella. Infection occurs most commonly in certain wild carnivorous, meat-eating, animals but it may also occur in domestic pigs. The CDC warns that if a human eats meat containing infective trichinella cysts, the acid in the stomach dissolves the hard covering of the cyst and releases the worms. The worms pass into the small intestine and, in one to two days, become mature. After mating, adult females lay eggs. These eggs develop into immature worms, travel through the arteries, and are transported to muscles. Within the muscles, the worms curl into a ball and encyst, becoming closed in a capsule. This infection occurs when these encysted worms are consumed in meat. The number of cases of trichinolosis throughout the world has steadily decreased due to an awareness of the dangers of eating raw and undercooked pork products and legislation prohibiting feeding. Raw Meat Garbage 2 Pigs are omnivores, which means they consume both plants and animals. Pigs will scavenge and eat any type of food, including dead insects, worms, tree bark, rotting carcasses, garbage, and even other pigs. In the wild, however they are foraging animals, primarily eating leaves, grasses, roots, fruits, and flowers. Pigs have very few sweat glands so therefore they are unable to completely rid their bodies of toxins. Therefore domestic pigs, breed for their meat products, pork, ham, and bacon, should be housed in a scrupulously clean environment, be washed down regularly, and kept cool. Unfortunately, new evidence indicates that our farming practices are leading directly to the spread of human bacterial infections. Pigs often live in the small spaces and fetid conditions that exist in many modern factory farms and studies are revealing that pigs frequently harbor antibiotic-resistant staph bacteria. This drug-resistant bacterium is now entering our food supply and recent investigations in the United States of America indicate that 49% of pigs and 45% of pig workers now harbor these bacteria. Responsible for killing more than 18,000 people in the U.S. every. He has forbidden you only dead animals, and blood, and the flesh of swine. Quran 2 173. Allah has only forbidden you from consuming that which died without being sacrificed according to the sacred law and having its blood flow. The meat of pigs and what is had other than Allah's name mentioned over it when it was sacrificed. Quran 2 173. For that surely is impure. Quran 6 145. Say, O Messenger, I do not find in what Allah has revealed to me anything forbidden except that which dies without being properly slaughtered, blood that is flowing, the meat of a pig for that is impure and unlawful. Quran 6 145 Muslims refrain from eating pork and pork products because God has forbidden it. However a little investigation into the anatomy and lifestyle of the pig reveals that it is certainly an unclean animal. Those interested in consuming healthy, natural, and pure foods would do well to abstain from pork and pork products.